and this one Cox Recon Edwards for Fighter 2 on your Linux PC. It's a very easy way to do so, and the game runs pretty decently. Pretty good uh, for this tutorial. As usual, I'm using Plan Linux. You can download it from their official website, planlinux.com. Uh, navigate to downloads and download whichever version you need. Uh, here's various versions. I'm using Ubuntu, so I will download this file and install it. After you download and install it, you need to run it. Okay. Uh, after you start this, this software, you need to install the Wine version. For that, you should press Tools, Manage Wine versions. Make sure the Wine version x86 is selected and select 1.7.22. This is the version I tested uh, this game with. So, so I recommend you select the same Wine version. So I should mention this uh, before you start installing uh, Ghost Recon Legends Warfighter. Make sure that your PC can run this game, and you are using that the proprietor. You are using proprietary drivers for your PC. And I should add that uh, make sure that you support playing Linux and Wine. Uh, they are the fantastic community that made everything this everything. They made this possible. Uh, without them, I would strongly doubt that any of this would be possible. Anyway, now let's close it. The next thing we need to do is to uh, create a wine prefix. For that, we should press configure new next 32 bit 1.7.22 and I choose the name, I'll call it crawl. This will be the name of our wine prefix. Anyway, okay, now it's creating wine prefix. Very well, very good. Uh, I should uh, add one more thing. Uh, I, I installed this game for my game disc, uh, which I got ages ago. Uh, I know that this game is available on Steam, and I'm pretty sure that it will work with the Steam version as well. But uh, I installed this with a game of this and uh, this is a tutorial on how to install grow from your game disk so you need the game disk okay I have it and I already put it in my ROM so the next step is to select grow our wine prefix that we created and press malicious miscellany order and select run and exit file and now we should navigate to our game disk and select setup exit this will start the setup. Next. Okay. Okay. Next. Uh, license agreement. I recommend you read it and only then agree or disagree. And now you need to enter your serial code. I'm going to enter it and come back after I enter it. Okay, after you enter it, this will appear. Uh, press next here and install. This will, this will start the installation process. I'm going to pause the video and come back after the installation process is complete. After it's finished installing, uh, this, this is the thing it's going to show us. Let's press no here. And you want to know because this won't work if even, even if we create it, create a shortcut. I never register. Okay. Uh, okay. And let's hit install the physics X. But it still won't work. <laughs> Except next. Okay. And finish. Uh, see, we don't need this because online servers are down. But 
and um, you can play this with Game Ranger, but I, I haven't tested uh, it under Linux. I tested it under all Windows, but I haven't tested it on Linux. So press yes here. I don't think Game Ranger works on Linux. Okay. And let's press finish. Okay, and now we need to update the game. Uh, how do we do this? Uh, we should download the cost recorded for fighter to update. Update. I will provide it in the description or you can download it from Ubisoft's website. You need this update from 1 to uh, from 1.0 to 1.05. Download this. I already did. This is it. And we need to install it. But before uh, we start install it, we should check one thing. Uh, we should check that uh, we can install the update. So, how do we do that? Press Drive C. Program and files, Ubisoft, post reconnaissance for fighter, and so look at crow to exe file. If the lock appeared, then you should this lock. You see this lock is here. You should do this. Press right click on it, properties, and uh, enter permissions and uh, ch change read only to read and write, read and write, and read and write, and press close. Now let's close this and after this you can install the update. How we do it how we do that? Press run and add the file in the from drive directory and then we get to download it update. And okay. This will install the update now. It takes some time to kick in. Okay. And on or nothing. I'll say it after when it will be time. Okay, the updater is almost complete. Uh, and uh, it will ask us if we want to install the update or not. Of course, we're gonna say yes. Yes. This is some of the updates. Okay, it's complete. Now we need to create a shortcut of Grow to start it. We're gonna press General, make a new shortcut, and uh, the, let's select Grow to Exa and press Next. You can, can change the name, but I won't. Next. Okay, that's how you understand the game. Let's close this. Either you can start from this, or you can start from this. Okay. Next step is to uh, enable the window window mode. You should press Wine, configure Wine. Why do we enable window mode? Windows or window mode? Because otherwise, most probably, it's gonna mess up your desktop resolution. There is two choices: either run uh, the game on your desktops on your monitors native resolution, or most probably, otherwise, it will just mess up your uh, resolution desktop resolution it will be totally different if you change it. and even if you play this game in your native resolution your desktop's native resolution it might mess up your screen resolution or something it might glitch a lot so we should rather we rather enable a windows mode windows mode so how do we do that press graphics emulate virtual desktop and type the resolution you want to run this game i'm gonna run it in 720p this on 20p and press automatically capture the mouse. Apply. Okay. And uh, we're gonna start it. And final thing that I should add is that uh, the shadows don't work. So you rather disable the shade. Set the shadows on low because it glitches. The shadows glitch. So I'm gonna show what you should change.
Okay, as you can see, the game has started or will start. Um, today, this is just because of the recording, and I'm gonna show what you should change. Finally, you can see, show, see the shadows, so either set it on low or off, and the other settings are up to you. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe.